Hi. Even if you don't consider yourself a Photoshop power user, you can save a great deal of time in real estate by using keyboard shortcuts instead of always mousing to every menu and tool you want to use. This is especially true when working with layers. If you know how to manipulate layers from the keyboard, you can remain focused on your image instead of having to mouse over to the side where the layer panel lives. So let's take a look at some of the shortcuts. First, let's make a new layer without having to go to the layer panel. You probably know that if you hold down the command key, that's control on a PC, and tap N, you'll get a new document. Well, if you add shift to that, you'll get a new layer. Just hold down shift, command, that shift control on a PC, and tap N, and you open the new layer dialog box. Let's call this layer Blossom. I don't need to change anything else, so I'm just going to tap the Enter key, which is the same as OK. And now, as you can see over here, I have a new layer called Blossom above the layer that was already selected, which is called Stem. So, let's put a Blossom on the Blossom layer. I'm going to tap the U key to get the Shape tool, and then I'm going to go over here to the Options bar, make sure that it is set to Fill with Pixels, that it's normal and the opacity is 100%, and then I'm going to get this blossom shape. This is a custom shape that I made. If you want to follow along with me, you can download all this stuff from my website. There should be a link in the description for this video. So you just click on that, and then you click on your image and start to drag, and you will make a flower shape. If you hold down the Shift key, you will make it proportional, which means that it won't be able to be squashed um, in any direction. It will remain exactly the way it was when I actually drew it. So we'll just make it the size we want. And let's put it, uh, it's a little bit too big. Let's push it down a little bit. And we'll put it about there. Looks good. And when I let go of the mouse button, it fills with pixels because that's what I had it set to do. And now we have a blossom layer that's filled with pixels. Let's make another layer above that one. This time I don't want to open up the dialog box, so I'm going to add the option key. Remember, if you add option keys on things that usually have dialog boxes, it suppresses them. And if you add it on things that don't usually have dialog boxes, then you'll be able to see them. So I'm going to hold down Shift, Option, Command, that's Shift, Alt, Control on a PC, and tap N, and I just get a new layer, unnamed, in the layer stack, just like that. We still have the Shape tool selected, so let's tap X to swap the foreground and background colors. That's right over here. Take a look. X, there we go. And then I'm going to go back up here, and I'm going to choose the calyx shape. Now this time, when I start to draw the shape, I'm going to hold down the Option key, that's Alt on the PC, so that it draws from the center, as well as the Shift key, so that I make a nice proportional shape. Then I'll hold down the Space bar, so I can move it around and put it in position. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to let go, and I have a nice green calyx on top of my blossom, when I really wanted it below the blossom. So, let's move it without going over to the layer panel. All you have to do is hold down the command key, that's control on a PC, and tap the left square bracket key, that's just to the right of the P on a standard American keyboard. And the layer moves down the stack, just like that. Every time that you tap the left bracket key, the layer moves down one position in the layer stack. If you tap the right bracket key, you can move it up. If you want it to go to the top or bottom of the entire stack, you just add the Shift key. So Shift, Command, left bracket takes it to the bottom of the layer stack, which in this case is below the sky and it's invisible, and Shift, Command, right bracket takes it to the top of the layer stack. So I'm just going to move down a couple of um, layers so that I am below the blossom, and there we go. Now I'd like to make another layer above the blossom, and in order to do that, I want to change which layer is selected, and once again, I can do that without going to the layer stack too, by holding down the Option key and using the square bracket keys. So Option left square bracket moves it down, and Option right square bracket moves my selection up. And if you go all the way to the top and press it again, you'll go back to the bottom. It wraps. So you can go back and forth as much as you want. I'm going to go down one more from here so that I'm on the blossom layer, and I'm going to make another new layer. So that's Shift, Option, Command, that's Shift, Alt, Control on a PC, because I don't want to open up the dialog box, we don't have a lot of time. And tap N, and now I have another new layer. So I'm going to add the last part of this flower, which is this sort of starburst thing. Once again, start dragging, and then hold down the 
Shift key so it's constrained, and the Option key so I draw from the center. That's Shift Alt on a PC, of course. Use the spacebar to put it where it needs to be. Let go of the spacebar so I can keep making the shape. And when it's the way I'd like it, I let go. And it's beautiful and it's green and I wanted it to be pink. So I could mouse over and change the colors, but it's easier to just change the color using the fill attribute, which you can do with command delete or control backspace on a PC because I want to fill it with a background color. But I don't want to fill the whole layer, I just want to fill the active pixels. So I'm going to add the shift key. That's shift, command, delete. And that fills it with pink. That would be shift, control, backspace on a PC. Now that's nice and pink and you can't even see it. So let's change the blend mode. To do that, first you get the move tool, which is V for move. So there's the move tool. And then if you hold down the shift key and use the minus and plus keys, which are to the right of the number keys at the top of the keyboard on a standard American keyboard, you can cycle through the different blend modes. So um, the plus key is actually the same as the equals key, but if you think of it as a plus key, it's easy to remember. So I'm going to change a couple of blend modes here. And there's multiply. Every time I tap plus, I will go um, down a blend mode, and every time I tap minus, I will go up a blend mode. And once again, if you go all the way to the top, you wrap. But let's go back to multiply. And that looks really good, but it's a little darker than I wanted. So with the move tool still selected, I'm going to tap 5, which will give me a 50% opacity. Each time that you use one of the number keys, you can change the opacity to that number times 10. So if I wanted 20% opacity, I would tap 2. That's either on the number keys at the top of the keyboard or the numeric keypad. Works with either one of them. But let's go back to 50. So we have 50% opacity, and that looks really good. Let's add another new layer. That's Shift, Option, Command, N, Shift, Alt, Control, N on a PC. And I'm going to put a round center for my flower. In order to do that, I'm going to use the Marquee tool. So I tap M to get the Marquee tool. But that's the square marquee, and I want the round marquee. I don't want a square center for my flower. So I'm going to add the Shift key and tap M again, and that cycles through the tools that are hidden underneath that keyboard shortcut. That works with all of them. So if, for instance, I wanted a lasso tool, I could tap L and then hold down the Shift key and tap L again and cycle through the various lassos. But I want the marquee tool, so I'm tapping M again. And go to the center of the flower, and once more, hold down Option and Shift so that I get a nice round um, marquee that is drawn from the center of the flower. And I hold down the space bar to move it wherever I want. And I want it just about exactly centered, so that looks pretty good. Let go, and this time I have to actually fill it, so I'm going to hold down the Option key. That's Alt on a PC because I want to fill with a foreground color. And tap Delete. And then I'm going to hold down Command that's Control on a PC, and tap D to drop the selection. And now I have a lovely green center for my flower, but I really wanted a yellow one. So I could mouse over to the color swatches and change them, but because this is a flat color, it's just as easy to use the Hue and Saturation dialog. So I'm going to hold down the Command key that's Control on a PC, and tap U to pull it up. And then I just change the Hue to um, a nice brown here. And when I increase the saturation, I can turn it yellow, and it's about the color I want now. So click OK, and there we go. So far, so good. There's some more still to be done with this image, but we're out of time. So I'm going to stop for now, and next week we'll finish it up. Until then, this has been Robin Wood, and I hope that you found this helpful.